When you share your pain, some people may try to hurt you even more. It's unfortunate, but many people take pleasure in seeing others suffer and may even make things worse. This kind of behavior, driven by sadness and envy, is quite common and can hold you back from personal growth in various aspects of life like work, friendships, and even within your own family. That's why it's important to learn how to keep your vulnerabilities hidden, as it can actually make you stronger. Think of yourself as a tree. When a storm comes, the leaves may flutter and the branches may sway, but the trunk remains strong and firmly rooted in the ground. This represents a quiet strength that we'll discuss further. We'll explore how you can become even stronger by showing that external and internal issues don't easily affect you. Each challenge you face will teach you to be like the tree, acting as if nothing bothers you. It's not about denying the storm, but choosing not to let the rain soak you or the wind knock you down. You'll learn to be the one in control of your destiny, firm, strong, and calm amidst chaos. In this video, we'll talk about the 18 Stoic Principles of Epicus, a well-known philosopher you may have heard of. I also encourage you to discover self-knowledge, where strength comes not from the thunder, but from the soft light that guides your path. So, for the next few minutes, focus on the content and avoid distractions. Let's begin. Principle number one. Listen twice as much as you speak. Have you ever wondered why we have two ears but only one mouth? According to Epicus, this is no coincidence. There is a clear purpose behind it. To remind us to listen more and speak less. It is through learning from others that we make progress in life, not by constantly repeating our own words. So starting today, try to pay more attention to what people around you say and less to what you have been saying all along. Principle number two, always expect the worst. One of the main causes of anxiety and its harmful effects is the belief that unfavorable circumstances await us in the future. We fear that our children might drop out of school, that we might lose our job, that our spouse might confess to having an affair and ask for a divorce, or that we might face financial ruin. Problem is that one day we fear one thing, and the next day it's something else. While we hope for good and happy moments, we also need to acknowledge that problems are inevitable. This leads to living in constant stress, reacting to different worries each day. This is where Epicus comes in. His proposal is both drastic and effective. He suggests imagining that all the things we fear have already happened. By doing so, we challenge ourselves to find ways to move forward with resilience. Principle number three. Be prepared to fail because it is the only way to progress. We often strive to avoid looking foolish, going to great lengths to prove ourselves. However, Epicus offers a different perspective. According to his philosophy, being considered a fool can be one of the best things that happen to us. It is through these experiences that we truly grow and improve, both professionally and personally. The Stoic philosopher reminds us that success is not the result of a spontaneous reaction, but rather a long journey of trial and error. It is through our mistakes that we refine ourselves and strive for excellence. Principle number four. Be aware of the dangers of wealth. The pursuit of wealth often comes with its own set of challenges. It's not just about people who may try to take advantage of our fortune, pretending to be our friends. Money has the power to change people, and not always for the better. Once we possess this coveted resource, we may discover aspects of ourselves that we didn't know existed, and it is at that point that our values and morals may be at risk of being compromised. Principle number five. Don't rely on just one hope. It's actually a good thing that we naturally seek variety in our pursuits. There's no need to put all our hopes and dreams into a single goal because if we fail, it can be devastating. Epicus encourages use to have multiple dreams and aspirations, as this significantly increases our chances of success. Principle number six, always remember that death is inevitable. This advice doesn't mean we should be pessimistic, but rather to be aware that death is the ultimate destination for all our actions and efforts. When we keep this in mind, we may start to question whether it's worth spending 20 years of our limited life savings to buy a house that, although important to use, we won't be able to take with us when death comes, 
Just like we carry essential items in our bag, like a phone, credit cards, and a toothbrush, it would be beneficial to carry a small notebook with these stoic principles. By doing so, setbacks won't feel like misfortunes, and we'll have a more realistic perspective on our existence making better use of our time in life. Principle number seven. True wealth lies in having a contented spirit through stoicism. Epictetus had a unique understanding of happiness, which is revealed in one of his famous sayings. A wise person doesn't dwell on what they lack but finds joy in what they already have. This reflection goes beyond a mere thought. It's advice to stop feeling distressed about the things we don't possess yet. When we complain and mourn over what's missing, we waste precious moments of happiness where we could be grateful for everything we've accomplished so far, which is often more than we realize. Therefore, a truly rich person is someone who is primarily happy. Principle number eight. Embrace humility if you genuinely want to learn. It's important for a person to learn what they think they already know. Epicus urges us to embrace humility, especially when it comes to learning. If we go through life with an arrogant sense of knowledge, we distance ourselves from true understanding. It's essential to recognize our ignorance in the subjects we intend to learn. By doing so, we can approach everything with the curiosity and eagerness to learn, just like a child. Principle number nine. Guilt is like a contagious disease. Close-minded individuals blame others. Average people blame themselves. But wise individuals see all guilt as foolishness. Therapists nowadays approach guilt as an emotion that should be eradicated from our lives thanks to teachings like this from Epicus. The only way to overcome the grip of guilt is to refuse to engage with it. The problem is that it's an easy path to take. As blaming others or ourselves absolves us from taking responsibility to correct our mistakes. It's a tempting temptation that's hard to resist. Only those with a strong determination to overcome can avoid guilt and still hold themselves accountable for their actions. Principle number 10. Formally answers with positive people. It's interesting how we quickly move away from someone who sneezes near us, fearing that they might infect us. However, we are not as cautious when it comes to avoiding one of the most harmful contagions we encounter daily. The people we surround ourselves with have a significant impact on our state of mind. Some individuals drain our energy and ruin our day, while others fill us with joy and vitality. Therefore, one of the wisest decisions we can make is to align ourselves with those who bring positivity into our lives, while distancing ourselves from those who have the ability to make us regret our existence. Our principle number 11. Always remember that your reactions shape your destiny. We should take our reactions seriously because they determine whether we succeed or fail. Epicus was very clear about this. He taught us that we can't choose what happens to us, but we can choose how we handle it. Misfortune can strike anyone, but it's our response to it that makes all the difference. For some people, a divorce may lead to depression and feeling like a victim. However, for Epicus, it's a perfect opportunity to embark on a journey of self-discovery. Remember, your life is not defined by what happens to you, but by how you handle it. Principle number 12. Always fulfill your responsibilities. Each of us has a role to play in society and the world. The sun doesn't need praise or enchantments to rise every morning. It does so without fail. Similarly, we must fulfill our obligations. If we wait for approval or recognition to do our work, we fail not only the community we belong to but also ourselves. When we know our task and understand that others depend on it, it becomes our moral duty to carry it out without needing reminders from anyone. Principle number 13. Don't hate those who hate you, simply ignore them. You are much greater and superior to those who criticize, despise, or discriminate against you. Therefore, it's not worth wasting your precious time hating such individuals. They don't even deserve a place in your thoughts. Instead, we are encouraged to not fear those who harm us, as their actions are merely a regrettable attempt to cause harm. So, Ignore them and become immune to their negativity. Principle number 14. Embrace simplicity. Why choose a frugal lifestyle when we have the option to surround ourselves with luxury? The answer is simpler and more logical than you might think. 
Wealth doesn't sustain itself. It requires constant commitment and energy to maintain a lifestyle of luxury and excess. On the other hand, when we opt for a simple life, we free ourselves from the pressure of meeting bill due dates, loan payments, and credit card obligations. Principle number 15. When you allow others' comments and behaviors to bother you, you are giving them control over your life. Any person who can make you angry becomes your boss. But they can only make you angry if you let their actions disturb you. Epicus teaches us that within ourselves there are many keys, some leading to happiness while others leading to emotional ruin. It's the latter key that we hand over to those who provoke our anger. The solution is to build a barrier that shields us from being affected by others' attitudes. Each person has ownership over what they say and what they choose to listen to. Principle number 16. Friendship is more valuable than wealth. True wealth lies in genuine friends who will support us even if our material fortune disappears. Therefore, invest your time in nurturing true friendships and you will make a profitable long-term investment. Principle number 17. Always find the benefit in whatever happens. This is what Epicus taught us. It's not just about having the option to find the good in adversity. It is our duty to do so. As long as you have intelligence, you have the ability to recognize the advantage you can gain from a challenging situation. For example, imagine you arrive at work one day and find out you're being fired. Instead of despairing and blaming the universe, you have the opportunity to pursue the venture you've always dreamed of while still fulfilling your work obligations alongside people you dislike. Always strive to see the positive side of a situation, because this mindset, accumulated throughout your life, will take you further than merely lamenting. Principle number 18. Stop worrying about what is beyond your control. You have control over your opinions but not your reputation. You have the desire and drive for progress, but you cannot control the amount of possessions or success you have. Therefore, stop worrying and becoming bitter about things you cannot control. According to Epicus, we are called to cultivate the values that we can change, but it is also our responsibility to let go of what is beyond our control and allow fate to take care of it. Stoic principles, besides being incredibly useful for everyday life, can help us navigate difficult times with resilience and interest. Their philosophy rejects fantasizing and encourages practical application of what is learned to move forward. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you've made it to the end, please share your ideas with us and write down your wise thoughts in the comments. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. See you soon.